Hey guys, so it's me Kiani. Today's video, I'm bringing you a smoky eye look created with my Tartelette palette. This palette was um, very elusive for quite a while and I am completely in love with it. All of these shades are matte. Can you see that? It just looks like love. The shades are very, very fleshy, very, very what I would call romantic like. There are a lot of taupes and pinks and plums and then you go into your browns. Um, I created this edgy cat eye, smoky eye for you guys. Um, I think it's very, very modern, extremely easy to create primarily with this palette because there's very minimum fallout. The shadows blend very, very well and they transition extremely well together. I do like that they're very, very, um, very easy to blend out, but it doesn't create um, kind of a powdery cast. If you've ever seen eyeshadows that just look like they're powder, these have an amazing finish on them. However, um, the fallout is, like I said, very, very minimal. So pay close attention to how I created the lower wing for you guys. And I did finish this look off with a bold lip. However, you guys know that you can finish it off with a nude lip. Um, I'm very, very excited to bring this video to you guys. I'm hoping that you will thumbs up this video for more smoky eye videos from me, Makeup by Kiani. But without further ado, if this is a look you're interested in, stay tuned and I'll show you how I created it. I'm actually going to start with this shade right here called Free Spirit. And I'm going to use my E25 brush and I'm just going to really whisk this color all the way across my eyelid. There are a couple of layers of that down. Shade right here, force of nature. I'm going to move that right into the highest point of my eye or, um, yeah, my eye bone. The highest point of the eye bone. Natural Beauty. Natural Beauty is, um, it looks kind of a grayish pink. And I'm going to put that right into the lower part of the eye bone. Blend that out as good as you can. Next, I'm going to move into the shade called Best Friend. Best Friends. And I'm going to actually start working on the exterior B and pushing it into the middle part of the eye. So, exterior B to about midway eye. And you know what? I'm actually going to push this Best Friend just a little bit on the inner inner bee as well and just kind of gradually push that onto the lid just ever so lightly dusting it now let's have some fun shall we I'm going to grab this is my um, eye shading brush it's an E55 a Sigma brush and I am going to pick up this shade called bombshell it's a beautiful dark plum beautiful dark plum shade and I am actually going to start to pat that and allow my eyeball to be the stopping point and just really pushing that into the eye socket. This brush is really designed to really pat those colors in. So instead of me sweeping, I'm going to pat. Pat, 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 pat. pat. And then guess what? I'm going to connect it right underneath. Now you're going to be sweeping just a little bit as well. And don't mind if it's too smoky it will all come together. Just kind of continue to pat that. And see what you've done? You've really connected it without closing the eye off. Okay? And make sure both eyes look exactly alike with the depth of the end. Now that I actually have my darker shade on, I'm going to move into this shade called Dreamer, which is almost like a chocolate. And I'm just going to further intensify the perimeter of that. Not necessarily blending, but just flattening out the contour lines. Can you see I'm just kind of popping that? The brush is designed just really to, to flatten the shades if you really pat it. So really don't sweep it as much. Um, I will say with this palette, I don't have a lot of fallout as I have with some of my other pigmented eyeshadows. So um, I really think that they did a great job with this palette. 
the fallout and also the shades are all matte all the shades are matte but they have amazing pigmentation so you can really go back in on top and layer a little bit more with pigment um, on the inserts if you wanted to for placement just with the inner lid I'm going to go into this beautiful shade called caregiver again and just re emphasize that openness there to put a beautiful pop of color and I'm just using a um, small tapered blending brush this is the E45 and just kind of pat this color on just to open this lid up just a little bit And I also think I want to put a little bit of that right on my inner V as well. Just for a little bit more connection and completion of the look. As always, if you want your exterior part of your, <clears throat> your eye to be a little bit more sharp, go back into your foundation. And I'm just going to grab me a um, kind of a flat powder brush. And I'm going to grab the, the, um, the lower lash line and allow that to be my marker for my eyeshadow and just pull up and that will give you a clean line if you like that type of look but um, again in a traditional smoky eye fashion it doesn't have to be so perfect because smoke as it gravitates out toward the eye it really does not stop really it just disappears so um, if you're blending this properly you really don't have to even it off um, and then I'm just going to go back in and soften it just a little bit more because I don't want it to be so, so harsh. Can you see what just happened? So I cleaned it up and then I'm going to go back and intentionally smoke out just a little bit more on the exterior. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm actually going to apply my lashes next. One other shade that I want to try is the Fashionista. And I'm just going to go right on top of the bombshell with that. And it's the Fashionista is a little bit more of a black. So again, I'm giving you different depths that you can actually stop if you want. If you want to go darker. It's all right here in this palette. This is a great look as well for those of you that like to do a smoky eye that are a little bit more reserved on doing wing liners with gel. This is a great way to accommodate that because with shadows, you can kind of clean those up a little bit easier. And you see there's a little opening here that allows the eye to remain open. I didn't take my darker shades on the inner part of the eye as well. I kept all of those very, very light and airy. No shimmers to this look and very minimal fallout, which means a lot less clean. For the inner borderline, I am going to grab my Sigma. This is the Wicked Standout Eyes. It is a gel liner. And I'm going to grab my Sonia Kashuk Angled Brush. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on my inner borderline. that the main thing when you're using a lighter shadow on the lid you want to make sure that you don't have any open spots between your eyelashes and your lid and if you see there's a gap gel line is a great way to connect that look I'm going to grab my mascara make sure those lashes are bonded well with my lashes <clears throat> lights, camera, lashes, do the same thing underneath. And I think I want to pop on a little bit of my cinnamon. This is the PB08 NYX blush. It's a beautiful kind of a coral color. Just to pop this on. And I'm going to grab a little bit of my Jafra Plum Gorgeous. I'm going to use a little bit of this as a highlight. And normally, 
I would say just pop on a nude gloss, but I think I want to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to grab my Purple Berry. This is by Ruby Kisses. It's a lip lacquer. Viva Glam, my Rihanna 2. And really transform this look. And there you have the finalized look. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to follow me on Instagram at love underscore Kiani. You'll see who I'm applying these tips and techniques to. And if you have subscribed to my channel, thanks so very, very much. If you have not, click the subscribe button. It's free. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. Bye.